Hi, today's topic is going to be the tenant security deposit and what you need to do with it, how you need to protect it. Nevada law requires property manager to have two separate trust accounts, one to hold the owner operating funds and one to hold the tenant security deposit separate from the owner's funds. This is done because the security deposits belong to the tenant and not to the owner. So when a tenant moves into the unit, you collect the deposit up front. When the tenant removes out of the, moves out of the unit, you return the deposit. You have 30 days to do this. And if you don't return it within 30 days, then the tenant is entitled to the full deposit back without any offset. Some of the items that you can charge against the security deposit are unpaid rent or repairs that are needed uh, because of the tenant's negligence. If the tenant broke a window on the way out, um, that would be reason to um, charge his deposit. The tenant didn't return the gate remotes or the uh, uh, garage door openers. Those are items that can be charged against a deposit. But you can't just uh, charge stuff against a deposit because you didn't like the notice that he gave you uh, or that you um, felt that he uh, needed to be taught a lesson. That's just not allowed. Yeah, any, any charges to the security deposit, if they're contested, will end up in, in court. And when it gets in court, the judge is going to look at the statute and it essentially is going to have to pass the reasonable person standard. So is it reasonable to charge for a broken window? Absolutely. Is it reasonable to charge because you didn't like the way the house smelled when he left? Probably not. Uh, you don't know that the tenant made it smell bad. You're just speculating that he did. Remodeling the property cannot be done with a tenant security deposit because it's not his duty to remodel your home after they leave. The tenants lived in the house for two or three years. Um, you know, charging the tenant to paint the house is uh, is not going to be allowed. It's just uh, it's not it's not normal to do that. I mean, you rent a house to a property, you you rent a house to a tenant. You should be expecting normal wear to occur. Um, Damage that is caused by a tenant, all wear is damage, but damage that can be charged to a security deposit is damage that occurred because the tenant was negligent when he lived in the property. I mean, you should expect that he would hang a picture on the wall of the property. Therefore, it shouldn't be a, a, a big problem to fill a tiny little hole left by a nail. It should be normal. You should have expected that. Same as a traffic pattern in, a, in, a, in the carpet. So. Be reasonable when you're dealing with the tenant security deposit. Um, it's not an insurance policy for you that your property will be returned the same way. If you rented a car uh, from Hertz and you turned it in after driving it for 3,000 miles, they don't charge you for an oil change or the fact that you wore down the brakes. And the same rules kind of apply when you're dealing with a tenant security deposit uh, in the state of Nevada. Thank you.